Hello there, everybody. Welcome to Thursday. Welcome to Thursday, and welcome to Halloween Eve Eve. Yeah. We're getting real Halloween close is now. This Saturday. We're getting real close now. I'm so excited. Which means we're getting really close to the fun, the big, amazing, like, surprise video. fantastic Halloween surprise video. The Halloween special, if you will. I'm so excited. It's video. like a Charlie Brown special, but not with Charles Schultz because he's very litigious. <laughs> That entity is very litigious, <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. If you watch That's Portlandia. That's a Portlandia reference. As promised, I'm going to give you a little bit more info and a little bit more hints today. Mm -hmm. Oh, also, messy hair, don't care. I just got out of the shower. I am that wild fox shirt that says messy hair, don't care. That's what, okay. What you going to do about it? Yeah. This Halloween special is ending up being about an hour long. Bring a cocktail or two. Yes. This background will be making an appearance. Our lovely Dollar Tree background. We love her. <laughs> and also, the big hint that I'd like to give you is this. I will not be giving you a title or anything yet. Nope. If you'd like to know that, be sure to check out my Instagram because today I was announcing the title of the video. And that is all I'm gonna give you for now. But be sure to turn on notifications and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on Saturday's Halloween special. Like I said, it is going up at the usual What's Old Saturday time of 8 p.m. Central time. I'll put other time zones below. I'm so excited. But you're not, so much fun. you're not going to want to miss out on it. We're all kind of like stuck inside for this Janine 19 Halloween and so I really want to make something like longer and special for people who maybe don't have kids to do something with or don't have yeah. a party to go to. You can sit back, relax, make popcorn, and make a spooky drink and enjoy the hour-long Halloween reseller special. That's not the title. You can get the title from my Instagram or you can wait for Saturday. It's gonna be so fun though. Anyways, so today is kind of a Halloween video as well. It's kind of a hodgepodge. This is a 10 Bolo Halloween brands. Some of them is just specific items that they've made and mm -hmm. then some of them it is the brand in general. There may be a few on here that are a little repetitive, but I really wanted to do a like Halloween Bolo and yeah. so that's what this is. And so there'll be a couple repeats but we'll get more into their Halloween-related things over just their information in general. Their regular clothing. But before we get into that... We got we, P.O. Box mail. We did check our P.O. Box. I'm so and excited. this morning we had two packages. One's this really big box from, from Julie. Julie. So thank you, Julie. And the other one's from Rachel. So we're so going to jump into these. Julie, also, Rachel. before we jump into those, I want to say hi to Patty. We <gasps> met Patty in a Starbucks this yes, last weekend. We did. It was so nice we to meet you, We met Patty at Starbucks. And then we went to the bins and met... Gretchen. Gretchen. Gretchen was super nice. It was nice chit-chatting with her. But we're going to jump into the P.O. Box mail. I'm first, so excited. First, we'll jump into Rachel's. So let's we'll do take Gretchen. a peek. I do see a card first. As usual, they're cut open just to save us time. We haven't seen what's Save time and energy. So first off, this is like Ryan's logo for life. Just I do love the good face. Walmart smiley face. Yes. Is it a sticker? No. No. Uh -huh. Oh, the puck. Oh! Oh, the pug butts are for Debbie. It is from Ray. Oh, oh I didn't okay. Ray, so Rachel is short for Ray. Good to other know. Other way around. Ray is short for Rachel. You know what I meant. Yes. <laughs> Jack and Ryan, I made these special posters for you. Sorry they're getting to you so late, but you can still use them anytime. I hope you enjoy them. Much love, Ray. So thank you, Ray. Ray's always I'm in so the video. Excited. She's so sweet. Ray She's Borland. amazing. She is, is her YouTube so handle? Ray Designs on Etsy, S E W R A E Designs. So go check her out. She makes amazing coasters. If you don't remember, we got pug butt she coasters. She makes good masks too. These are the pug butt coasters. <gasps> we have received these from her before, but Debbie really wanted some. So this is the ones for Debbie. Look how cute they are. Ray, I'll be sure to give these to Debbie. So thank you so she much. Is She's gonna, gonna love it. She loves them. She's gonna love those. Um, and then, oh, 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 she made some good. These are so cute. Oh what do you gosh. mean? I think these are Halloween <clears throat> coasters, and Mike's very interested in them. That's just smell. Okay, first up, we got eyeballs. Oh, they're so cute. They're different colors. Two colored eyeballs. <gasps> these are so good. These are so well made. I wish I knew how. Is this crochet? I think. Yes. I wish I knew how to do that. Are you kidding me? These are adorable. And then these pumpkins. Okay, pumpkins will work for Thanksgiving like, as well. Also, we're a household that appreciates this? Halloween all year. 
And they, then Pokeball ones. These are so cute. I love Pokemon. Oh, the little pumpkin know. one. I Thank you so much, Ray. Adorable. Ray is always so these sweet. These are so cute. And she's so talented. So please go check out So Ray Designs on Etsy. So Julie's big box. There we go. Julie sent us a big box. A right, card. Jack, Ryan, and Mike. <gasps> How to ghosts like to dance? Let's open and find Who's out. Is it Boogie? Okay, but also. I bet it's Boogie. I love him. Uh, they shake their booties. Boogie, Boogie it up this Halloween. It up this Halloween. I love that. Hello, Jack, Ryan, and Mike. I'm a big fan of your two channels. Uh, young... So, I can't read anything. You guys rock for all I've learned from you. Plus, you are the most adorable couple on YouTube. Aw, thank you. Julie. Julie. New to Poshmark myself. Started in May at Julie Mac NC. Which we will link Poshmark her below. Company. Links below. We'll put 100%. the Etsy below and we'll put Julie's. I've been out of work on medical leave since January. Friends that I've done personal shopping for in the past encouraged me to use Poshmark. Oh, cool. Okay. That's a good idea. With the help of my boyfriend, Mike, and bestie <laughs> Patty. Aw. I'm still very slow, but enjoying it. I'm checking out your closets and will be buying soon. Too many cool things to make up my mind. Mike, my BF, loves Halloween, so I picked up a few goodies for you three when we were out shopping. This yes, is Yes, Mike. <laughs> this is my little thank you. Aw, that's so sweet. The dog treats are loved by our dog Gumball. <laughs> that's such a cute <laughs> that's name. That's the cutest name for a dog, Gumball. Peace and love, Julie. So right off the top, how cute. That's a little trick or treat pail. That's it looks like, like your adorable. backpack. It does. <laughs> it honestly <laughs> really looks like if you want to have the Moschino ghost backpack on a budget. Just add two straps to this. It's right here. It looks zipper on the like top. exactly the same. Oh, this one's cute. Cool ghouls. Oh, that's really cute. Too. I love this. <gasps> I love that. I love these. I remember we used to go to the circus as kids, and instead of like lights, my mom would give us these from the dollar store. Oh, this is adorable. And she knows that I'm like a huge ghost. Oh, Mike fan loves these. Uh oh, he's already. Always in the Always in a We have a bunch of those in the car. <gasps> oh my god, box of boogers. I remember these from when I was a kid. Ooh, oh my god, Pop, Pop Rocks. Rocks. I love Pop Delish. Rocks. Delish. Blood? That's fun. You like drink blood with some glowing tanks in it? <laughs> Unicorn Shake. Awesome dog treats. Ooh, those look fancy. Those look bougie. The, <gasps> the bouquets. Bakery, okay, like, I just want to eat bakery. these. Candy. <laughs> oh. Candy popcorn. Oh my gosh, I'm a oh huge, my God. you didn't and know this the... about me, I'm a huge popcorn fan. These are so good. These are so good. Thank you so much, Julie. Aww. This is like a box of our favorite things. You're so sweet. Okay, but like, I'm just gonna eat this popcorn the entire Literally. Video. So we will link Julie's below. Thank you, yes, Ray and will. Julie. You're both I'm amazing. so excited. Okay, so now on to the Bolo Halloween brand. Getting on to the meat of the video. So we have 10 brands as usual, and I'm gonna start by introducing the first one, and then we're just gonna take turns talking about yes. them. The first one is one that I know we've talked about before, and it's called Skull Cashmere. So this is a sweater brand that is owned by 360 sweater they also own 360 cashmere one of those is the parent one they also I make 360 like... pet oh yeah they someone make, told like, me that in the comments they, they make like dog sweaters yeah, that are like really 120 dollars so skull cashmere is just as it says it's like really expensive sweaters that have skulls it is not always cashmere it can be cotton no the sweaters are not always cashmere it can be other knits Mm -hmm. I believe there is always a skull on it. There's always, it's kind of like champion where there's always like, there's one somewhere. Yeah. You know? Usually it's like a big skull like motif on the back mm -hmm. or on the front. And then every once in a while, it's like a pattern of skulls. Yeah. But either way, like Ryan said, there's always skulls on it. That's where it gets its name from. I'm a huge fan of this. It's it, very spooky, so cookie. I was gonna say, ooky. they get two spooky points because the name is spooky yeah. and then they put skulls on everything. Yes. <laughs> and it's like year round fun, year round skeletons, which I am totally yeah. here for. We love skeletons. And if you see it, it is worth a it's ton. So it retails, the sweaters retail at like they uh, start $400 at like a hundred to $600. They're so crazy expensive. And the one time I had it, it sold really, really fast. Mm -hmm. They keep their value really well. It's very hard to find like low price ones on Posh. So definitely yes. pick up Skull Cashmere, even if you have to pay up a little bit for or it. Or even if it's like, has like a little hole in it. Yeah. People don't care. So get it. I think Jeez. I paid up for mine because I knew how much it was worth. Okay, so next one, a little bit more pricey than Skull Cashmere. <laughs> um, it's Alexander McQueen. He is spooky because um, his aesthetic is very Halloween-y, very ghouly, very gooey, very like, boo, you know? And then his um, kind of like, I can see like more recent trademark is another skull. So like he has all those like scars that people had like about 10 years ago that had skulls all over him. That was an Alexander McQueen piece. 
he has um flats that have skulls on them he has like more of his like obtainable like wearable stuff has like skulls all over it so he's a very spooky dude and Love he has stuff. the lower end lined mcq which McQueen. that is like super expensive as well that has a bunch of skulls mm -hmm. in it too yeah the popular things are the flats and the scarves mm -hmm. but he also makes like jewelry with skulls yes, there's this does. enamel bracelet of his that i oh, really that has the little skulls in it he makes like t-shirts really with cute. skulls he makes um like sweaters with a big skeleton on it mm -hmm. he has this whole line called the dancing skeleton oh, i, love I that. want everything They're from so that cute. and his color palette is very like kind of like tacky halloween like yeah. red and black and orange and, and like white. darker colors and white yeah mm -hmm. it is but he's very expensive the one time I've seen it in person was at a Nordstrom Rack and it was still like 260 bucks for the flats. They yeah, were they're so, so expensive. high quality though. The, they're very well made. The skull was like mm -hmm. completely embellished, <laughs> super sparkly, super mm -hmm. pretty. I love it. Next up, a brand that like I just learned about like yesterday. It's called Moschino. I was like, do you have it on? No, not For so once, I don't have it on. I was going to say, your looks like a Moschino. Moschino. And Moschino is not always spooky they had a line for resort wear of 2020 which was their spring summer 2020 mm -hmm. that was completely halloween based but not I, just like the clothes like the show was like um trick or treaters uh, it started off like the movie scream yeah and then it went back. into a whole street of trick or treaters yes and that was like the show was like you sat in the neighborhood and like watched these like people yes oh. If there's anywhere I could be on Earth, I would have loved to that. That would have been so much fun. Uh, I would have so they had the whole line, and they had bags that were Halloween. They mm -hmm. had a, like, jack-o'-lantern, almost like trick-or-treat bucket bag. They had my ghost backpack. They had ones with just, like, jack-o'-lantern faces on them. Oh, that jacket? Yeah, they, they had, had an orange jacket that had, like, a jack-o'-lantern cut out of it. It was so cute. Yeah, they had so men's cute. and women's. They had dresses that were based off, like, Frankenstein. They had a whole mummy look. This mm -hmm. is the peak I would say of like Halloween and fashion was Moschino's, oh, yeah. <laughs> Moschino's 2020 spring summer. If you've ever seen any of it, like we always say about Moschino, everything from them is so like limited edition and, and kitschy. like kitschy so, like, you know. and unique. So when it's gone, it's gone. Like they're not going to make more of like, they had a Jack Lantern purse. They're not going to make any more the of those. The one online of that is on Posh and it's $6,000. <laughs> <laughs> and she commented on her own post and said, I will never let this go for under 5000 And Five that, grand that for thing, a piece of plastic with a strap that on That thing it. retailed at 1000 So that just shows you how much Moschino stuff goes up in value. But even like your backpack, like your ghost backpack. Uh, there's one have. of my ghost backpacks on eBay for $3,000. So expensive. So if you She's ever see any of it, first off, DM me. Yeah. <laughs> Please that. give me a good deal because I want every piece from it literally I just want the t-shirt but yeah if you ever see that get it they have actually done Moschino has done a few Halloween stuff here and there one time they had a jack-o'-lantern t-shirt one time they had kind of the dancing skeleton as a sweater oh yeah kind of they like did. Queen. Mm -hmm. they've had spider web sneakers they've had like a few here and there but that was the one time that they had like a the full whole blown thing, thing. was ooky spooky please for fun this Halloween season, either tomorrow or Saturday before you watch our video, watch the runway of oh. the Moschino. I will actually link that below because it's it's an experience. It's, it's a Halloween experience. So it's a, good. A Halloween class. Who's that actor in Screen? That actress. She Drew looks Barrymore? Drew Barrymore. The girl looks just like her. She does. Mm -hmm. I want everything. I love it. Oh. Okay, so number four on our list is one of my personal favorite brands. It's Zadig and Voltaire. I think we've a hundred percent. I think I know we've talked about these this. first. Four, I think, are ones that we've co we've covered, mm -hmm. but the rest I don't. Think we have so. talked about <laughs> it. Um, the Zadig and Voltaire motif, as with Alexander McQueen and Skull Cashmere, is a big skull. Everything looks a little tattered, looks a little raggedy sometimes. Um, their shoes, especially, they're so cute, and they kind of are like like spooky, like fall, like boots. Yeah, I love them. And the the um the t shirts they have like usually have like embellished skulls and stuff on mm -hmm. them. They're so cute. Yeah, they're the, so expensive. The Dick and Voltaire, their big thing is they use a lot of butterflies and a lot of skulls. They and really do. there's usually a mixture of the two, mm -hmm. but they do use skulls quite often. A lot of times it kind of looks like skull cashmere pieces or almost mm -hmm. Alexander McQueen pieces where it's just like a big motif. motif that's embellished. They also like camo. Sometimes yes, they, love, camo they love a camo. They really do. But yeah, they use skulls a lot. And this stuff kind of just looks like, you know, like just like a vibe generally. Yeah. Ooh. 
you know? So number five, this might be shocking that okay. we'd ever put this on a bolo. Just this stuff. Betsy Johnson. Not Asterix. all Betsy Johnson. <laughs> Don't run to two days to get all the Betsy Johnson. Asterix. Betsy Johnson has, throughout the years, made multiple different Halloween based purses mm -hmm. and they're all like crossbodies. She's made a pumpkin spice coffee cup. Yes, she has. She has made a ghost with lipstick, which she's made a pumpkin with lipstick. Why put lipstick which, on a ghost? That's like her thing. It's like a black cat that was actually really cute. Oh. A haunted house that I really liked. A candy corn embellished crossbody. Vampire mouth with like teeth spider and a bat and all of these since it's betsy johnson only retailed at like 45 dollars. but the thing Jeez. is you can't get them anymore They're which resale. means they are worth like a hundred dollars if you are to find one especially the candy corn one i think is the first one she did and the pumpkin spice coffee. Those two, if you find them, you can sell them for like 100 to 125. They are very sought after, and I can see why they are really cute. Yeah. I'm not personally a fan of the ones with the lips, but otherwise, I actually do really like all these pieces, and I'm not a Betsy Johnson fan. But if you find those, pick them up, even though you probably normally skip Betsy. I mean, I don't know, I normally would. Definitely. But grab those if you see them. Yes. Okay, so number six is Wild Fox. I love Wild Fox, personally. Their stuff is very soft. They make like kitschy stuff for like a lot of other holidays, but their Halloween stuff, a lot of other holidays, but their Halloween stuff is very, very, very sought after and very expensive. Um, so they are like, they make the fun little saying. So they have ones that are just like regular jack-o'-lantern faces. They have ones that say like, here with my witches. Mm -hmm. Like it's very like kitschy, like, oh, ghost just with the mostest is one mm -hmm. of my personal favorites. It's very like, you're a, a woman entertaining. Yeah. And they you have, wear it to like- They have one with like ghosts that says, let's boogie. Yeah. Kind of like the They're card cute. from Julie. They're cute. Um, and then they do have one that has like a candy corn pattern all throughout. Oh, and that yeah. one, I was told by someone on Instagram that she either found it or saw it and then looked up comps. The comps on that thing are like out of this world. So again, it's kind of, mm -hmm. lots of Halloween stuff are this way. Where like, since it's a very limited release. And there's a definite set of people that just like want it all year round. The moment it's gone, there are people who are like hunting it out. Yeah. I was gonna say, <laughs> you are definitely Me. in that camp. Yeah. So up next, number seven is Vemo, vet, vet Mints, as it looks. Vet but it's Vemo. Vemo. This brand, I'm putting on here, even though they've only had one Halloween piece ever. <laughs> one <so> But <laughs> Vemal, if you ever find it, is crazy expensive. Normally they make really high-end fashion that's kind of like distressed or it's funky. Like they were the one that did the heels with the cigarette lighter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Their stuff is like weirdly like altered, weirdly put together. It just like, it stands out. It's kind of that deconstructed, reconstructed look it's a lot of the time. Very pretty. So they made a zip up hoodie that says it's Hocus Pocus time, which is, but it's printed upside down on the front. <laughs> I love that. And then on the back, there's like two little kids playing with jack-o'-lanterns as heads. So cute. I, oh, so cute. I'm one, kind of mad they didn't put Bette Midler on it. One time, <laughs> one time the real real had it and I had it on my wish list. I wanted it so bad and it's sold. And it's I'll never get it again. Isn't that always how it goes? <sighs> yes, as with every Halloween thing. So, so if you see that, pick it up. But also, <laughs> if you see anything from Van Mall, pick it up. So expensive. And it's like one of those like kind of newer luxury brands. It's definitely a newer one. That a lot mm -hmm. of people look for. Kind of like off-white. Like it's like it's very a newer it's very age streetwear mm -hmm. where like people of all ages and stuff are really appreciate it. Yes. Okay, so number eight on our list. I have seen this brand in the wild once before at a consignment store and it was very expensive, so I didn't buy it. The brand is Charlotte Olympia. So she is spooky for a couple of reasons. One, her logo is a spider web and it's adorable. It's the cutest little spider web. Two, she has made like ooky spooky kooky shoes. She's a shoe and like a bag person. So she's made like shoes with spider webs on them. Um, she was the one that did the cats. And I know that there's a black cat flat out there somewhere. I remember they used to be everywhere. Hmm. Like a few years ago, five, six years ago, maybe. And then she made, um, it's like a clear, like an evening bag, almost like a clear resin purse that is a spider web. Yeah. It's very ooky spooky cook. She has like a mini black enamel bag that has enamel. like a big, That's what those a are. big like, and like jewel spider on it. Yeah. And then, yeah, she has the flats and she has like some like 
brooches and jewelry and stuff that's yeah. like spiders it's a lot of spider webs and spiders for her mm -hmm. again if you see anything by her grab it really expensive she's expensive number nine is actually despite its name not very halloween related but the name is very halloween related Let's and that's pretend. why i'm putting it on here because if you find it the retail on this stuff is crazy it is called the vampire's wife and they make tons and tons of maxi length floral dresses they're super intense too. pretty floral prints usually mm -hmm. with long sleeves very almost like classical looking mm -hmm. they go down to like your ankles super nice they retail at usually 1200 to 1500 dollars probably even higher yeah they kind of give me like a love shack fancy that's silhouette what it's just like this is love shack fancy's like mom really? with more money and they are kind of sometimes cottage core too they just look very classical and they look very yeah pretty. like it's very like She's wearing it to the Hamptons, but to like a spooky Halloween party. Yeah. And she's like, I'm Laura Ingalls Wilder. <laughs> Which I think I saw once a label from them online, not in person. Movement and the so label expensive. doesn't look expensive. I'll have it here so you guys are seeing it. Maybe there is one, but I didn't think it looked expensive. Maybe I'm wrong. But if you mm -hmm. see it, pick her up. I feel like that's kind of a theme with some of those like other like luxury dresses is that like none of the labels yeah are when it's expensive. like dressy gowny type stuff i feel like they all look like the thing you get glam at the mall yeah they all look season. like prom dress mm. labels okay so number 10 the last one oh this does my soul a justice to talk about this woman her name is yayu kusama she's an artist she's a collaborator so she's done a lot with like luxury brands and she's done a lot with um japanese like things that like play into her heritage that is also very on trend for Halloween and very spooky. So her big, like, artistic presence is pumpkins. Homegirl love a pumpkin. Me too. And a dot. <laughs> well, it's okay. Fun fact about the dots is she has a mental illness where she sees dots over everything all the time. Like, that's why everything mm. she makes has, is like, so if you look up her art, not her, you know, stuff with Louis Vuitton or whatever, it all has dots in it and that's just how she sees the world. Mm. So her studio is right across the street from um, the Japanese, the place where she lives that she can get psychiatric help. Mm. So it's interesting. So she does pumpkins all the time, gourds, things over in the US that are very associated with like fall and spookiness and ookiness and kookiness. And then she also says, luxury market, hello. She did one of the prettiest collabs with Louis Vuitton. If you've ever seen the stuff that has like <clears throat> dots all over it or I, inverse dots. I think it was 2007, if I'm not mistaken. I've actually seen a few in person. I know, me Every too. Every once in a while, like, a uh, style encore or something will happen. Yes. Them, and they're like, so expensive. They're beautiful. Oh, well, because they didn't make them that much. Like, they didn't make them for that long. And she was like, once and done. Yeah. Like, she won't let them make it again. Or and they're like, really popular, so actually, you might find fakes of these. They're very people, commonly fake. Yeah, people really like this line. Which they do. Even if you didn't know her, they're so gorgeous. Like, they're like works of art in themselves. Like, yeah, I, are. before I die, I will have... She made a red and a yellow Louis Vuitton Neverfull with the dots on it. And that's going to be mine. I want so bad. But she also so. ha has made like home decor. That yes. are like, if you see a pumpkin, like a ceramic pumpkin with dots all over it, check the bottom. And if it says her name on it. If it says YK and a little Japanese stamp in it, mama, you picked up the 10 grand dollar bill. <laughs> lots of money. She and now you can in, sell home stuff on Pops. Yeah, she has one in Des Moines. She has like a 10 foot pumpkin. Hmm. But a lot of her, the pumpkins either have the dots like drawn on them or they're like carved out. Yeah. So it's like. Yeah, but she has, lo she has lots of pumpkins. I love lots her. Lots of dots. Look her up, please. She's adorable. She yeah. always wears like a really fun, like colored wig. <laughs> no, literally, everywhere she goes, she has like a red wig on. It's just like a. Hmm. She's a fun little lady. Ryan knows a lot about artists. I love her. She's so cute. Anyway. Anyway, <laughs> that was story. number 10. And that is the end of our Halloween bolos. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Even if some of it was repetitive, we wanted to give you a more Halloween central yeah. video to like top off the fall videos. Yes, this is unfortunately, besides Saturday, the <sighs> end of the fall fun videos. But it's okay because winter and Christmas, etc., are coming up. Winter holiday. We can jump back into maybe some hauls more often if you yeah. guys want to see that. We Especially because can... I'm done early this semester, so for a good six to eight weeks, all I'm gonna be doing is going to Goodwill. Damn, 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 damn. I sounded like um, Kate McKinnon's Elizabeth Warren. <laughs> yeah. Look forward to also sometime in the future. I don't. We don't have it planned yet, but obviously the winter trend report that'll be coming up. <gasps> 
soon-ish. That's probably after probably November. Um, yeah, like early December. Yeah, so actually, mm -hmm. actually pretty soon. November. That might be coming up real soon. So Ooh. let us know what you want to see now that we are breaking the, the free fall, of the fall. Has unfortunately <laughs> ended on I know. this channel. That's actually really sad. I know. Um, Remember Anyways. in September when we were like, the first of many fall oh, no. videos. <laughs> Anyways, it's hard to believe that October and fall are ending, but oh, they are. No. So there's Wild. one thing left to look forward to, and that is the Halloween video. So be sure, like I said, to subscribe and turn notifications so you don't miss that. I'm going to be promoting it on my Instagram starting right after we turn the camera off right here until it comes out. So if you want to see information on it, go to my Instagram, look at my story, and get excited. I'm excited. And we'll see you. On Unless you want to see us on the second channel tomorrow. You can do yeah. that too. But we'll see you for sure on Saturday. Bring, bring your ookiest, spookiest, kookiest, everything. And have a good time. Yeah. Have so fun. Ooh. Oh wear God, a watch costume. Watch me in a costume and send me the pictures. Wear please. a costume while watching <laughs> it. And post a picture, either to your story or something, of you watching it in a costume. And I'm going to repost all those. I'm going to be, be in a costume. Amazing. And y'all are going to be ready for my beautiful costume. I'm so excited. Okay. We're going to see you later. So we'll see you Friday or Saturday. Bye. Bye.